Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and today I will be unboxing and reviewing the Xiaomi Mi TV Stick. So probably if you are watching this video you are considering to buy and you are trying to know what can be done with this device. Well, a lot. Keep watching the video, okay? So these are some of the streaming platforms you can access with your Android TV yes this streaming device is running on Android TV and it's really really small but really powerful okay for the CPU we have a Cortex A53 GPU ARM Mali 450 8 gigs of storage 1 gig of RAM the output resolution is 1080p 60 frames per second the operating system is Android 9 so this is the remote, it's really minimalist and really good. It works by Bluetooth, so you don't need to point to your TV. It requires two batteries to operate and it's really nice. So this is the device itself, it's really really small but yet powerful as I told you, okay? So I was amazed by the performance of this stick. Okay, so I bought it just for testing and I was thinking to get rid of it after the testing, sell it to somebody else, but no, I will be keeping it because it's really, really nice and you can take it with you if you are traveling. So you go to a, an hotel and you just plug it into your TV bedroom and connect to Wi-Fi and you are ready to go. So inside the box we can find the power supply, HDMI cable, adapter, so if the TV is really close to the wall you can use this adapter and the stick will be hanging and you can keep your TV close to the wall. So this is the power cable, you can connect to your TV USB or directly to the power supply so if your TV has a USB connection and it uh, handles power enough to power on the device use it okay so it's booting I, I already made the setup it's really easy so I didn't record because you just need to put uh, your country uh, the language and connect to Wi-Fi and we are ready to go I also already installed a lot of applications because I wanted to show what the device is capable of okay so the rest of the video will be a summary of great things we can do with this device so this is the launcher really easy to operate the presentation is really nice, really smooth and the remote control works really well. So I have HBO, I'm also YouTube, Netflix, Flex, I will be covering one by one for you to, to see how it works. So let's have a look at settings to see the Android version. Android Pi. Okay, so let's proceed. So there are already here some applications that I installed, but some come with the machine. So Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, the Play Store, 
uh, comes already pre-installed all the rest you can install uh, from Google Play Store or sideload with another application I will do the tutorial if you require it in the comments okay because I have some other application probably you will not find in the Google Store but you can install and run okay really 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 easy okay this is the Google Play Store and you can search and install all your favorite application and if you don't find some of the applications you are looking for I will tell you later on in the video where you can find those okay also we can do searches by voice just pressing the key on the remote and we just talk to the remote and the words will be there in the search bar so I search for Facebook and there it is okay really really easy so okay so let's proceed I already installed several applications like I told you so and now we are going to open one application to show you the hardware specs of the, of the Mi TV stick it's Ada64 and so we have the TV Xiaomi 1 gig of RAM available memory the, the, the CPU uh, ARM Cortex-A53 1.4 GHz the memory etc proceeding so I have HBO let me show you the application is working really well so I have HBO in another machine and it's the same so the application it's working really well no lag and the quality is really really good okay the response is really fast so this device can handle it really really well and easy it's amazing how a device with only one gig of RAM can work so so well so I have I have done reviews for boxes from China some come with 2 gigs of RAM 4 gigs of RAM and this one performs really well comparing I will I will not change for a Chinese box because this one is really good the design the performance the the speed of the Wi-Fi connection is really nice so once you have it um, installed all your favorite applications you will not leave it because you can take it uh, in your vacations to your to hotel it's really really nice so we are now running YouTube remember 1080p so and it's running really nice and remember this is running always in Wi-Fi and the quality is really good so only drop three frames and good 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 okay so YouTube no issues and the experience the overall experience in YouTube it's really really great okay so approved so searching it's really easy and the black background it's I like it I like it a lot so this this application if you speak Portuguese it's a must-have if you want to move your application up or down just it's really easy with your remote control just press and move up or move down okay for Netflix I don't have a, a password but I can grant you that 
it works really well. So you just need to sign in and it's ready to go. Okay, continue, continue. So play movies. Plex, I will be there just a moment. Nebula Manager, so we can stack also our favorite applications here in the main menu with that Nebula Manager, okay? So now I am showing you the, the application I use to, to install apps that you cannot find in the Google Play Store, okay? It, it's called AppToy TV. So this is another launcher that you can change but you have to install okay so it's possible to install another launcher if you don't like the one that comes with your machine yes we can change it and if you don't like it you can reverse so it's really easy and you can have more than two or three if, if the machine if the, the stick has space you can continue to install okay so we can change the TV launcher it's not easy it's not really difficult I mean so if you have a Plex server you can watch your movies here with the, a click of your remote as you can see it's really really nice experience I have a video in my channel how to set a Plex server so if you have a lot of movies and series laying around you can set up a, a server and it will go and pick up all these pictures and information from IMDB the casting everything and show you like this okay so you just have to tell the, the server where do you have your movies and series and the program will do the rest and serve uh, the streams to your devices in your house okay so it's really really easy also in Plex you can watch live TV and of course you can use this uh, Mi TV stick for IPTV So this is a live channel and there's a lot inside Plex but remember you can have your own service in, in working from the Mi TV stick okay another server Jellyfin also working really nice so I have a network attached storage and I have some movies so I am serving the movies to my TV stick so it's more or less the, the, the same that Plex does uh, there are several media servers but uh, Plex and it's the, the better one and there are another ones like Jellyfin okay let's go out and check something else okay it's possible to install an application in your smartphone and use it as a mouse it comes really handy to go and use some of the applications we use in our stick okay so one of the questions can we use the stick for gaming yes we can
Okay, well, yes we can, but remember that uh, we don't have a, a joystick, so if you have a PS4 controller, probably you will be able to pair by Bluetooth, otherwise you need to, to play with the remote, and not every game will give you that ability, but this one does, so let's have a look at the, the graphics and if it can be played or not and surprisingly it can it plays really nice so also you can install RetroArch and if you have a gamepad you can play RetroArch so arcade games in your machine okay So this is the text the test for gaming. Let's get out and proceed to something else. Okay, can we cast to our TV? Yes we can. Can we mirror? Yes we can. Okay, so now I'm mirroring my phone and as you can see it has a little delay but it works okay also you can stream YouTube, you can cast YouTube from your phone directly to your TV. Okay, so as I told you I have an, a network attached storage and I have a USB pen drive on my router and I can access by this application and play videos from it. So, last application I will show you is StreamU. And it also works really, really well. So, in summary, I was quite surprised with this machine so because I, I make reviews for Android boxes and some of the boxes perform uh, not even close uh, to this stick so even though it only has one gig one gig of RAM and eight gigs of storage I, I will not exchange this for one Chinese box okay it depends on the box but probably the, the cheaper ones the, the ones with the same value uh, 30 euros I would not change okay so it doesn't do 4k okay for me it's not a problem because my TV is not 4k and probably when I buy a new TV with 4k I will not need a stick or a TV box because it will be a smart TV so for me this stick it's more than approved because it feels all my needs it does everything I, I need for a smart TV so don't forget if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe thank you if you like this video please subscribe